five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are you? This is Alex Bennett and this is The Ramble. It goes from now until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. And we, of course, as we like to do every now and then, uh, uh, every now and then, uh, how we like to do it is we want to talk to an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I love him. This is Larry Bubbles Brown. I love having him on. Hi, Larry. Love being on. Uh, we can talk about more death in the news. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, well, we've had some death in the news lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Eddie Money. Yeah, I actually, I worked with him once. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, I suppose he's a very nice guy. He was a Bay Area uh, institution, so to speak. And yeah, and I think he was one of the early guys on MTV. Uh, could have been. You know, he was managed by Bill Graham. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, Bill Graham had a bunch of acts in San Francisco that he managed. And Eddie Money was, I think, one of them. I The thing I remember most about Eddie Money was when he almost lost his leg I think it was. Right, yeah. Because he fell asleep on it because he was too stoned to wake up. Am, am I correct about this? You are correct. And I think he fell asleep for hours and cut the circulation off. And Yeah, yeah. And almost lost his leg, but he didn't lose his leg. So that was that. That's all I ever remember about Eddie Money. His music. <laughs> well, his music. And two tickets to paradise. <laughs> uh, two tickets to an amputation. Uh, <laughs> no, I just never thought he was terrific. Okay, I thought his stuff was kind of mediocre. You know, I, I I felt the same way about Journey, another San Francisco group. Um, I've always felt they were. They were mediocre as well. I don't know. I just never enjoyed their music. It never had anything special. How did you feel about it? Journey, I just remember when I started comedy, the uh, the big thing that most every comic did, you would make fun of Journey. Yeah. So apparently nobody thought they were too edgy, but I think they probably, back then, that's when musicians made a lot of money. So I'm sure they're all zillionaires. Well, they they outlasted in 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 what can we call it in uh, re re residual popularity lasted longer than a lot of other groups, and that's why people remember them so fondly. Yeah, they were around the seventies. Yeah, yeah, um, but uh, you know they they were uh, they were I I I never liked them. And I, I particularly didn't like Neil Schoen, who was uh, one of their people in the group, who was not a particularly bright human being. Because I, <laughs> I got to know Neil's ex-wife. She told me a great story about Neil, that he went over to Europe, and she said, uh, well, did you get to France? And he said, no, but we went to Paris. <laughs> yeah. That's the, probably had a California education. And she said that one time she had to explain to him when he made a million dollars what a million dollars was by saying, well, wow. that, that's a thousand thousand. So, <laughs> I, so you can see why people in entertainment that have no sense of money, when they, when they get a, yeah, I, a, a I, evil I, business manager, how they can be robbed blind. I wonder if any money has a sense of money. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, and then we lost another music guy this week. We lost uh, Rick Ocasek of the Cars. Yeah. A group I did like. They were like. kind of cool, weren't they? they? They were cool. Yeah, they were cool. Uh, I mean, they didn't have a long existence. I think his popularity and his name outlasted his fame. You know, I mean, 
the, the cars what had a had a two or three year period and that was about it maybe 80 to 84 yeah yeah something like that not not, not a huge but they had a bunch of, of hits you know and uh, you know what it amazes <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's going. My I'm, I can't stay awake today. I'm in great shape. Um, this is why I'm thinking of quitting doing the nightly show. I'm just you know I'm just so out of it lately. But anyway, like I couldn't remember that we had done you two weeks ago, not one week ago. Yeah, and I wasn't sure either until I looked at the. Yeah, we got the the short term memory. It's yeah, and fun. then and then I looked in the calendar, and there you were, and I went, "Is this right?" So I had to write you and say that. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Now I was going. I was talking about Rick Ocasek, and I was talking about and, the cars. Oh yeah, and they didn't. Uh, here's what I don't get: How do you have like a string of hits? Okay, like uh, I'll give you a good example. Uh, is is Rick Ocasek? The Cars had a string of hits, and then all of a sudden, you don't have a string of hits anymore. They just it just stops. You ever notice that? Um, yeah, well, maybe it's like comedians. We just run out of material, and there's a there's a certain amount you have in you. I'll talk about some other Bay Area people. Greg Kinn. I mean, he had a whole bunch of hits, didn't he? One right after the other. And then all of a sudden, yeah, he had like, uh, uh, I think mid '80s, he was on fire. Yeah. Then no more hits. All of a sudden, it wasn't like, oh well, this one was like that was number one, but then this one was number five, and this one reached number ten, and you faded away. It's like it just stopped. I'll give you another one. Another, they're all Bay Area guys. Huey Lewis. I mean, how many yeah. hits did he have in a row? That, that one, there was a period there. Yeah, it was like uh, one every week. Every every time he released a record, it hit number one. Huey Lewis, boom, poo, meteoric. Then all of a sudden, nothing. Just nothing. Now, is that a decision on? I would love to interview Huey Lewis on this, if he'd talk to me, um, uh, 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 and ask him why did it suddenly stop? Did you make a decision? to stop you know did you make enough money and say well that's it i don't need any more money it could That'd be. be interesting yeah yeah but i mean why all of a sudden you you, you you know how to write hits you have one after the other everybody's waiting for your next record and all of a sudden you just that's it goodbye see you later that's all we, or they uh, get bored. Sure. They get bored and they try to do a new type of music, and that doesn't work sometimes. That could be, but you know, I don't think he ever abandoned Huey Lewis and the News. Uh, you know, I think the band was always with him. You know, so I mean, I would love to know. He wound up on Broadway. You know, he did cabaret here in on Broadway. Did not know that. I know he's got a very bad hearing issue right now where he can't uh, do any music. He can't do any music? No, he can't hear practically. It's just some really rare, weird ear disease. Well, I'll tell you, you know who's got uh, two hearing aids? Uh, my friend Buddy Love. He's got two oh, hearing really? aids. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't make a big deal. He doesn't make, uh, doesn't hide it at all. And I said, "Why?" He said, "All those years of playing the drums." Yeah, you know, that's, uh, I bet a lot of musicians have uh, that problem. Well, Peter Townsend had it to the yeah extreme degree. In fact, for a short time, they were thinking of changing the name of the group from the Who to the What. <laughs> that's my best joke I ever wrote. That's the best that's joke I ever joke. wrote. <laughs> That, and nobody else thought of that. That was mine. I thought that up. That's a good one. It's the only good joke I ever wrote. <laughs> we better, let's write that one down. That's yeah, great. You, you can use it if you want to, but it's not your kind. <laughs> it, it's not a, a. It's not a joke that would speak to your comedy voice. <laughs> but it is hilarious. Because you'd have to go. You'd have to go. What? And that's not anything you would do in your in your act. You would not get to that, raise to that level of audio. Uh -oh. 
But uh, so what's new in the lovely world of Larry Bubbles? Did we lose anybody else, by the way, before I go any further? Let's see. I thought there was one more. Uh, we lost locally. We lost uh, Freddie Lazarus, who was kind of the doorman at the Holy City Zoo. He just died on Comedy Day Sunday. So on Comedy Day? Yeah, he was such. A, he's just a really one of those people that everybody loved. And uh, and what did he die of? Uh, some form of Hodgkin's disease. Really, really. And how yeah. old was he? I would guess mid fifties. Mid fifties. Yeah. Jeez almighty. Wow. How do I live this long? <laughs> You're going to 100. I don't know, man. If it's like this, I don't I don't want it, you know. I mean, I I fear death, but it's getting to look a bit a bit like a relief, you know. Um they were running this movie of Bogart's The Big Sleep, and I suddenly realized what the title meant, you know. Uh, and and it is kind of like a big sleep, you know. Finally, finally, I'll get some rest, you yeah. know. That might be uh, one of the few Bogart movies I haven't seen. Really? Uh, who's in it? Uh, Lauren Bacall. It's filmed where? Uh, was, that was film. I don't know. Maybe I think it's a Philip Marlowe story, so it had to be L.A. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But then you know, when I was a kid, uh, they filmed a movie in North Beach, Bogart and Bacall. That was Dark Passage. That Dark Passage, and I saw them. That I just saw that. I love that one. I saw them shooting it. Well, I don't know if I saw Bacall and Bogart. I don't think they ever set foot in San Francisco. Uh, they. Um, they they were taking some shots of of doubles, I think, uh, in front of the big building. You know that big building up on uh, Telegraph Hill, that beautiful Art Deco, the big apartment building. building yeah, yeah, uh, that's where it was filmed. And uh, in fact, to this day, there's somebody there has a a picture, a, a big stand up of Bogart in the window. Um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the first time I ever saw a movie being made. You know, I was just a little kid, and I walked up, up Filbert Street, and then up the steps, and then down the steps, and then there they were, all shooting, uh, whatever. You know, and a lot of it was, I think it was doubles for Bogart, uh, and whoever else was in there. But that, that Agnes Moorhead, Agnes, she. Well, I won't spoil it for people, but she did it. <laughs> she was yeah. the, she was the bad one. You know. Nothing more disappointing, I think, the first time you see a movie being filmed. You think, oh, this will be great. It's the most boring thing in the world. Oh, if you sat there and had to deal with it, it's very boring. I mean, uh, there's more setting up than there is shooting. That's why they have trailers with lots of entertainment and food in the trailers. You know, so. But, uh, yeah, but that was... That was one of my big, as a kid, that was one of my big deals, was uh, was seeing that being filmed, you know. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, it was Bogart and Bacall, and uh, Agnes Moorhead was in it, and uh, he escapes from San Quentin, but he's not guilty, of course. You can't have the... Yeah, and there's a, along the way, I think he kills two or three more people by accident, and she keeps... But Carl keeps believing him. It's a, kind of a thin no, story. No, actually, but. actually, I think Agnes Moorhead kills them, and he's blamed for them. And then he kills her. And then he kills her, and then he goes to South America, where in the end he's happily rejoined by uh, by Lauren Bacall. But the big part of the movie is when he gets the plastic. Remember, he meets the cab driver who takes to a plastic surgeon at three in the morning. <laughs> yes. Yes. And changes his face completely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plastic surgery is our us. You know, it's like, like <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning, he's getting plastic surgery. Yeah. And, and the doctor says, I'll never contact you again. You'll never contact me. Right, right. And then he, he boy, you do remember that movie. And then he goes uh, to Bacall's place, and she takes care of him while his bandages are still on. You don't see him for the first maybe 30 minutes of the film. Yeah, he's got his head wrapped. Or, you know, or you're seeing things through his eyes. You're not seeing the guy he was, but then he becomes Bogart. And my feeling is, you know, if I had plastic surgery, would I tell the plastic surgeon, surgeon 
make me look like Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> it's not like it's not like he was a bad looking guy. There was something ruggedly masculine about him, but he wasn't if you were to say to a woman, Is that your idea of a good looking guy? they would say no. You know. Uh well that's interesting, and yet he became a huge star. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is a guy who probably wasn't destined to become a star, but he had a quality, and he had some luck. I mean, in the early films that he was in, uh, like The Roaring Twenties, he was the bad guy, mm-hmm. and uh, he, uh, uh, you know, he played bad guys for the longest time, and I think it wasn't until The Maltese Falcon that he finally played a good guy, and he was kind of playing a good bad guy. You know, because uh, Sam Spade was kind of a rugged, kind of like not worked by the rules uh, detective. And uh, but he 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 gained a he gained his popularity with that film. And after that, he was he was starred in everything. You know, they did a film right after. Then he did Casablanca. You talk about a one-two punch. You know, and that literally put him on the map and then they followed it up with a film called across the pacific and they decided to get all the stars from casablanca together in the same movie again i i don't know i'm trying to remember if ingrid bergman was in that though i don't know if she was it didn't work it didn't work didn't work at all and then he did you know he did a lot of other films and then i was the other day i was watching uh uh treasure of the sierra madre Oh, that's great. Which is just, you know, it's a great film. You know what's a great film? i got to tell you something. I, 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 I'm, I've been enjoying lately Turner Classic movies because they have this app that you can have on your TV set, and they run all the movies that they've shown in the last, last week, okay? And so you can go back, and rather than watch them when they originally run, you can watch them afterwards. And so there I saw, you know, Coconuts, uh, Marx Brothers. So I turned watched that for a little bit, and it's kind of, eh, you know, because it was a Broadway musical, and they were doing it as a Broadway musical on film, shot it at the Astoria Studios here in New York. Uh, and I think at the same time that the Marx Brothers were doing Coconuts on stage, and basically it was a representation of the stage show, with some very bad songs, very bad singing, um, but then. The next picture they showed, or the picture before that they showed, because obviously it was Marx Brothers' night, was Duck Soup. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you've gone back and watched Duck Soup. I believe, to my way of thinking, that's the greatest comedy film ever made. I'll have to see it again. I saw it when I was a kid. Uh, It's only only an hour and ten minutes long. Uh, one of the reasons is that they realized that you couldn't stick with the Marx Brothers for two hours. That's why when they went to MGM, Irving Thalberg said, I know how we can make a long movie with you. And they said, how? He said, by putting some very dull songs in the middle. And then, <laughs> so so we will do the comedy, ha, 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 people are laughing. And they, you know, they can't keep laughing for an hour and a half. But they can keep laughing for, say, 15, 20 minutes, and then we run this deathly dull song with Kitty Carlisle singing it and Alan Jones, who I think was in the picture, singing it. And then they'll go back to the comedy again, then we'll go to another dull song, you know. And that's how they did it. But in Duck Soup, it's like nonstop comedy from beginning to end. And there are some sequences in there that are just, absolutely hilarious it's like a chico and or chico is actually how the name was pronounced and harpo are selling peanuts next to a lemonade vendor uh played by the master of the slow burn and i'm trying to remember his name now but he's selling lemonade and they start having this battle back and forth and this goes on throughout the whole movie you keep revisiting the battle Mm mm-hmm until finally Harpo fucks the guy's wife, you know. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but the film is so unrelentingly funny that I sat there and I watched it and I said, this thing is how many years old? I mean, when was it made? It was made in, uh, I think, the 30s, 34, 35, yeah. something, I, some, uh, 
quite late, definitely quite early. early. And and I'm thinking, this thing still stands up. It's still funny, and there's nothing dirty about it. You know, there are no dirty laughs or anything else. It is just unrelentingly funny. And these three, then four people, were the four funniest people in the world. I mean, they were, it was just amazing to watch. So if people, if you get a chance, go back and revisit Duck Soup. It is. Plus, it's a political comedy. Yeah, there aren't many com comedies that hold up over a, that long a period, so it's very rare. And uh, then it had Margaret Dumont, who always played the matron in these films. Uh, and um, it has one of the great Groucho lines of all time, well, let's fight for the honor of this woman, which is more than she'd do for herself. <laughs> you know. Um, he, uh, but I mean, it, it's just, I, I was amazed in watching it. I watched every minute of it. I didn't turn, I couldn't turn it off. It was so funny. Uh, and uh, it's the pacing, right? It's so quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The pacing was ba 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 ba. And there are references in there which today would not play, like uh, something, 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 and that's why darkies were born. Wow. You know, but in those days there was a song that had the song, and that's why dark darkies were born, and so that was the joke, and so it was a, f a good joke, you know. Uh, but I mean, just amazing, amazing. Uh, film. Do you have a comedy film you remember as being absolutely great? Uh, yeah. Let's see. I, the, I, when I, I used to love uh, W. C. Fields. Mm -hmm. I thought a couple of his films held up pretty well. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What was the, the greatest? What's your so is this your favorite comedy, The March Brothers? I think now that I've reseen it, I have to say it's the greatest comedy film ever made. You know, literally, I can't think of anything funnier than this film. I mean, there are a lot of funny films out there, films that will make me laugh. A lot of the early Mel Brooks stuff, you know, uh, very good. But you know, even he would agree, Duck Soup's the greatest comedy of all time. I mean, it's just, it's that perfect. Well, I saw some film historian, I forget who it was, but he said in the history of movies, there's actually been very few great funny films. You know, he may be right. I mean, it's pretty hard to be funny. And it's pretty hard to be funny for two hours. You know, but, uh, uh, you know, there are, I, I mean, for instance, you know, it, we talk about modern films. I got to tell you, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, Borat, was a relentlessly funny film. Uh, not up there with the Marx Brothers, you know, but certainly kind of brilliant of its own sort, you know. So I, I don't know if you ever saw Borat. I haven't seen it yet, but he's he was uh, very funny in some of the things I have seen. So. Oh, he's very a very talented guy, and he did some very, very good stuff. Uh, and uh, I think Borat's a, a hopelessly funny film, okay? I love it. Uh, and uh, let me see here. What other films <clears throat> could I name? You know what's the worst comedy ever made? And, and, and people, when I say this, go, really? You really think that? It's a mad, mad, mad world. <laughs> I, I felt it was just klutzy comedy. It wasn't very good comedy. And too long. There are a couple of funny moments in it, but it's, it's horrendously long. Yeah, yeah. You're right, though, about the length of the uh, Woody Allen's movies are about like 75 to 78 minutes. Because I think comedy, like you said, does it's, you can laugh so long. Right. Well, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why Woody Allen went to more serious pictures or cre uh, created drama and comedy in the same film, like with Manhattan or Annie Hall was the first film he did that with is because you can then do the long form and it isn't wearing on the audience. But something like uh, Love and Death or uh, Sleeper or any one of those early films of his are too rich with the comedy for it to be longer than about an hour and a half. Otherwise, the audience goes way exhausted. And at a certain point, they stop laughing, too. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know what they did with the Marx Brothers films when they were at MGM? And I got we're running out of time here, so I got to tell you this fast. They would send them out on the road to do the movie on stage in theaters. You know, they would have them do their bits from the films. They would play San Francisco, then they'd go up to Portland, then they'd go up to Seattle, and then they would come back and shoot the movie. And by then, they knew what the timing was for the laughs. So they could put the timing on the film. Oh, okay. So that when they made the film, you would they, they knew when the audience would laugh, and the audience would laugh, and then uh, it's on to the next scene. But that's what they did. They they literally broke them in out of town, and that was another Irving Thalberg brilliant idea on how to make their films. Yeah, better. Thalberg was a genius. Oh, he was an absolute genius. Hey, listen, we've run out of time, Bubs. God, it just goes by <laughs> more so more ways than one. We're running out of time. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of time. Yeah, both Bubs and I are running out of time. Me faster than him. Uh, anyway, we'll talk to you next week. Okay. We'll see you next week, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome back to our fine little uh, little gathering here. Uh, um, I'm I'm tired again. I'm always tired. Why am I so tired? Jeez, I just I just want to be awake and alive. And then I drink the coffee, and the coffee doesn't do shit. Mm. But it tastes good. And I yesterday I did a I did a descaling of my coffee machine. So the coffee even tastes better than it used to. Well, let's let you guys do the talking. I'm just going to sit back and listen to you guys. Let me see here. First, I got to find uh, uh, Skype. Hold on a second. There we go. I got to bring up the Skype. I don't open it up before we go on uh, because people have a tendency to call it, even though it doesn't say I'm, I'm available at the moment. But it does, na- it does now, I guess because Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it, there. Okay, now it's okay. Now it's active, so you can call if you want to. So anyway, uh, I, you know, I don't know what's happening. Every now and then you will notice the lights kind of go flick. And they've been doing that for a couple of nights now. And there's something, I don't know, in the building or something. There's something wrong with the electricity. So um, I don't know. Who do I call for that? Do I call my super? Or do I call Con Ed and say the lights are flickering and have them say what the problem is? You know, I don't know. So anyway, uh, so our lines are open and we're waiting for people to call. And uh, uh, we'll just sit here and wait, drinking my coffee, hoping I can wake up. Uh, Wouldn't be funny if nobody called and then I could just, I could just, like, if you don't call, you know, if I don't hear from anybody by like a quarter of here, uh, I'm just going to sign off and call it quits. I, I've threatened that how many times over the career of this program, and it's never come to pass. And some nights we start out really slow, and then by the end of the night, we're just filled with people. Plus, my eyes are tearing, which means it's allergy season again. I've been told that it's allergy season all year long now that there's no particular one season for allergies. So uh, my eyes are tearing, and look, I'm sniffling. Ugh, it's, it's terrible. Anyway, uh, is anybody going to call? Nobody's going to call? Oh, yeah, please, don't call. Then I won't have to talk, and then I can get out of here early and just uh, have a night off. Uh, so anyway, oh, by the way, if you don't know how to call this program, it's very simple. You just go to gabnet.net, uh, uh, which is our website, and uh, you can use uh, over on the right-hand side, there's a complete tutorial on how to call, okay? A complete tutorial. So uh, that's, the, that's a big deal. And uh, uh, there's even a button you can click, and if you've got your Skype open, it will automatically dial our, uh, our program. So... It's all very easy, and it's all very simple, and you might want to check it out and, and look at it. Okay, so nobody's calling, huh? Well, I knew this would happen eventually. 
I knew the show was getting so shitty lately that uh, nobody would want to call. By the way, I've noticed something on Skype. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Here comes Charlie. And now Charlie, Charlie, we got to hand it to Charlie. He's probably exhausted today. Uh, right, Charlie? Right, hey. right. Oh, no, actually, I did all the loading uh, Wednesday and Thursday, so oh. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I've been resting up today. Oh, okay. So you're feeling, you're feeling good today. Yeah. He's moving back to Texas. All my stuff is already on the way. We picked it up this morning. Yeah. Ah, oh, boy. Anyway, wait, wait, hold on a second. Let me. I know what I. I know what I'll get. See, I've got this. Uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, allergy stuff. This is the. You know. Uh, this is Flonase, wow. which uh, the generic is much cheaper. So I should. I should get my doctor to give me a prescription for the. Uh, for the generic, uh, but uh, what what happened is th this is a good a good uh, situation in which uh, a company uh, this, it was forced to go into uh, what what's the word we're we trying to remember here uh, being a generic, okay, and so with being a generic, who's calling here? Oh, Jason's calling. Okay, I got to start putting people here in places in there. <laughs> uh, let me see here, Jason. I just. There we go. Okay, now I gotta I gotta put some people in here. Hold on a second. First, we'll put uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff uh, mm -hmm. in there. Well, Jeff, you should be in there. Yeah, he was there last night. Yeah, I know he's here right now, but yeah, I don't know did, why did he's not. Right there we go. There we go. And then I gotta put it. Uh, did you just see the lights flicker? They've been flickering for two nights now. And I have no idea why. Is it 3, uh, 3 a.m.? Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. There we go. There's Jason. Hi, Jason. How's it going? How you doing? Good to see you. Pretty good. Yeah. You too. Um, yeah. So um, uh, let me see here. I mean, I got to get rid of something here. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now we're ready to go somewhat. Now if other people call, I can then put them on and... Uh, we're all, but anyway, so the, so the Flonase, uh, the, this stuff uh, used to, you know, you could you get your insurance would take care of it because it was not over the counter, yeah. but then they made it go over the counter. And so now you have to pay 35 bucks for this stuff where when it was, when it was, when it was the prescription, your plan paid for it, right? Yeah. Your plan doesn't pay for this. So I got to have my doctor prescribe the uh, non over the counter. Well, I doubt if that'll help, but, you know, nothing helps anymore, you know, so. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing tonight? Um, yeah, I've been coughing a lot. Really? Week. You know I something? Think it's, it's the allergy. Yeah. It's allergies. Well, yeah. What yeah. Sam just got it, too. Yeah, I think it's allergies, because my eyes are burning. When well, my <clears> eyes start burning, that has... That has to do with allergies. So hey, was he breaking up or was that me? No, he was break, he's breaking up a little bit. Jeff's a okay. little little Just, you didn't know. know if it was my connection or not. No, your connection's really clean, Jason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's I did yeah, that's it. much better. It's much better, Jeff. Yeah. How you doing, Jeff? How you I doing, Jeff? Face a little closer. Ah, there you go. Speakers. Yeah. Jason, how you doing? I'm doing. Just Chugging along, working, living that American dream. How's the ball and chain? Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We never see her face anymore. She used to pop in every now and then. Yeah, so it's not her thing, so. It's not her thing. Yeah. 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 Hey, you know, this kind of thing's probably more of a guy thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Yeah. So anybody been doing anything interesting? Make, make me live vicariously off your lives. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm getting ready to leave. Yeah, and you're going. You're going to some exciting places. Yeah. 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 The the coolest place I'm going to go to, I think, mm -hmm. is Prague. Yeah. And have you ever been there? N no, but I hear they make uh, some really good porn there. <laughs> well, I'm not kidding. They really they they, uh, they make a lot of porn in in Prague. It's like the porn capital of uh, of uh, of uh, that part of the world. So, 
you know. I heard you when you're there, you got to try the fried prod legs. Fried, fried prog. Prog, prog legs? Frog legs. Frog legs. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay. I expect that kind of okay. joke out of Phil. Yeah. Hi, Phil. No. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. He wrote it. He just won't admit to it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Move your cameras here. Heads a little more towards the top, Phil. Just trying to center you so you look good. There, there you go. <laughs> See? See? Right. Oh, there you go. Uh, Kevin's calling in, too. See? Uh, now we're filling up. Nobody wants me to go go to sleep early, huh? Okay, well, fuck, nope. fuck all of you. I'll, I'll, I'll play your little game. <laughs> Uh, here's, uh, let's see here, Hog Rider. There we go. Thank God I, I know most of your, your kind of uh, other names. Oh, well, I, uh, yeah, I, I put it in the wrong place. See, it just flickered again. You see those lights flicker? Nobody saw it. No. And I don't know why it's, why they're flickering. Every now and then they go bloop. Uh, you, the live in you live in a 119 year old building. Mm hmm. Uh, you know, somebody turned on a microwave two floors down. I'm sure it, that's what it is. Is it warm there today? Are people turning their air conditioners back on? No, no. And we weren't having this when the air conditioners were fine, you know. And I just, I'm just waiting for one of the the little blips and then for everything to go off. But my none of my monitors go bad or anything like that. It's just the lights. Hey, Alex, just remember, if the power goes out and the show goes down, it's not a big deal. You're right. <laughs> uh, but you know, there but I will be it tomorrow. No, but you know, the monitors don't aren't affected by it, so I, that I don't understand. And, and uh, I, do, you, do you have them on a battery backup? No. The lights that are flickering are they LED? No, uh, some of them are. Oh, you, you know that, something? Yeah. I noticed that in my house that the LED lights are a lot more sensitive to power fluctuations. Really? Because yeah. these here are. Up here are our LEDs, and I think the one over here is an LED. You could be right. The one, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, who knows? You know, we'll find out. You know, uh, but LEDs are, will uh, will fluctuate a lot that way. Oh man, that, that's all I have in my house in my living room. I have they're dimmable, so then that makes it even worse. Wow. So I have some dimmable LEDs, and uh, when I have them turned down a little bit, anything kicks on me, they almost go out. Wow. They don't like each other. But they don't go out. They just f flip. They dim down. You can tell. Oh, oh, they, so well, they, they, these don't dim down. They just go bleep, bleep. But, yeah. but that was probably just a quick power surge. So they're well, just dimming who, for a who second. Knows, who knows what's happening? You know, yeah, I, I'll tell you something else I got. In the kitchen, we've got a strange smell. Uh -oh. It's like a, almost like a... If I were to say it were, uh, some, uh, what can I say it was like? It's like a paint smell. That's uh, the decomposing bodies in <laughs> the wall. That's probably, but... It, 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 a mouse under the cabinets? <laughs> I don't understand it. Uh, and then it goes away. Then it disappears. It's not there. Like, I, I one day I had my... Uh, my super was here, and I, I called him about it, and he didn't call me back. But then he was here... So I said, oh, come smell, and then the smell wasn't there. <laughs> so I got to wait till the smell comes back, and then I call them and have them come right up. And I, I'm afraid it's something that could, like, kill me. Uh, it's probably somebody <laughs> either directly below you painting and turning on a vent, and maybe the vent is kind of but this been going on. Vent. This has been going on for three weeks. I mean, how much painting are they going to do? Maybe Picasso moved in. Maybe Picasso <laughs> moved in, yeah. Right. Very good. I'm trying to redeem myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, so, so, and you're right. I mean, this is an old building. I mean, so we're, we're dealing with old kind of little problems and things like that. And it's kind of. How old is it? It's, uh, how old did you say, Phil? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's 119. 100 and something. 119 uh, it years. 119 04? years old. No. Yeah. 2000, uh, one, uh, 1900. Oh. Yeah. Um, and um, it, uh, they started building it, I think, in nineteen in eighteen eighty eight. It took them two years oh. to build it, and then it was it was open in nineteen hundred. So that was Trump could have built that building in one week. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, falling yeah. down in two years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the lights would be flickering more than they are now. So, you know. Yeah. You want lights? Huh? <laughs> no <laughs> lights for you. Well, you know, yeah. in the old days, they had gas here. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and you would light the gas lights at night. Of course, then I wouldn't be able to do the show because there'd be no electricity. But these buildings weren't were retroactively made retrofitted, re retrofitted, retroactive, whatever, uh, for for electricity. Uh, because this guy Edison came along and decided that he had this idea that he could light everybody's homes. Yeah. Uh, and Phil, I bet you were you were in New York when the lights went out. Right. He was in New I York when 65. Edison first turned them on. Yeah, I, I was in '65 when the uh, when there was the uh, blackout. The blackout. But uh, uh, Alex, did you ever interview Edison? Hmm? You must have interviewed Edison, right? <laughs> his, his wife. Having a good yeah. laugh, are you, Phil? Yeah. No. So were you. <laughs> there they go. Just flickered again. So in the early 2000s, when we had that blackout on the, the Midwest and East Coast, mm -hmm. were you in New York then or no? Uh, I, which one? It was, I think, like 2000, I want to say one or three, where we had the blackout. It, yeah, 2000, was, oh, I, I think it was 2000, maybe three. I, I would say it wasn't one because I remember everybody thought it was a terrorist attack yeah. or something. Yeah, 2003, and, uh, but I was also here for one before that as well. Yeah, and uh, and I remember that we were out on Long Island when it happened, and we decided that we wouldn't come back until we knew the lights were turned on in our apartment, and they started turning the lights on in kind of a circular fashion, and the ground zero for the last lights turned on was our apartment <laughs> house. Now uh, I know you weren't living in New York in '65, mm -hmm. uh, but Jeff, you were, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you remember that one? Oh, definitely. It was I, I think that was like the first big one. It, it was right around, I think, uh, 5.30 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think I was watching TV and uh, watching the news. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. And all of a sudden, boom. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. How long was it out? It was out for a while, too. Yeah. I, I can't. You know, they, I, that one, that one, that one wasn't that the one where they made a big. There were a couple of things that happened with that blackout. Number one, they said that nine months later there were a lot of births in New York City. <laughs> yeah. It always is, yeah. Yeah, and, and the other thing was is that that was the one where they were rioting, right? No, I don't. Think oh yeah, so. they were rioting in, in Harlem and other places, and yeah, breaking into stealing, stores and stealing yeah. TV sets. And, that was '68. And, was uh, that the '68? Watts, yeah, Watts. Uh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Watts was out in California. We're yeah, talking right. about New York. I know. I was in New York uh, for '65. Right. Uh, you know, I would. You listen to get news during a uh, blackout. You'd listen to a little transistor radio. Yeah. You remember a little sure. one? Yeah. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but but no, but there was one before the the the, the one that I was in during. What during uh, well, the seventies? There was another oh. one before that, and that was the one where there were a lot of riots. And okay, I, I don't remember any riots, but I do remember the blackout, and it was uh, it, it was unusual. It was the first big blackout, I think, in New York City. Yeah, yeah. So, well, actually, it, it was more than New York City. It hit uh, Westchester because uh, you know I was in uh, uh, Upper Westchester at that time. Were you really? Oh. Yeah. Good. So anyway, so so anyway, so I'm I, I I'm tired, and I think it's for the same reason that Jeff's tired and feeling kind of out of sorts because of the 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 allergies here are just they get terrible. And I took a walk. Yeah, and I've never had it before, and all of a sudden, well, it, this is a new thing. For yeah, me. but they make you feel tired, and they make you feel your nose drips, and your right. your eyes burn, and that's what I've got going for me. Well, this this could be a, a, a uh, an attack, uh, you know. Uh, the Koreans are sending allergies <laughs> over. Mm. Yeah. Well, every year they always end up saying that it's the worst year for you know, pollen we, we should for get, like we the last should, five years in a row. We should get you together with what's his name? Um, uh, who, oh, the conspiracy guy. Yeah, the conspiracy yeah. guy. 
Well, where do you think Tim? I got the? Yeah, where, yeah where because because got he's it? he's got a lot of conspiracy theories, and the two of you can just make up all these conspiracy conspiracy yeah. theories. Yeah, yeah. The, the uh, yeah. Koreans, the North Koreans, are causing the allergies. I'm I'm just trying to counteract the uh, the news. Uh, you know, so I you know, just adding what to news? the fakeness. What news? The news is so dull lately. You know, I can't you know. watch. Huh? It's yeah, just, I'm, I'm I the same way. I, I, you know, people it's, say to me, they write me and they say, how come you say there's nothing to talk about? Well, it's because I don't watch MSNBC all day and get paranoid about everything that's happening. You right. know. Now, what, didn't the New York Times come out with something that Trump did and then it was proven to be false and uh, they, they retracted oh. it? And now they're having uh, someone else just to, you know, uh, counteract their false statement. Uh, they're uh, they've got the the whistleblower. I never heard you know, about. No, I, I never heard about that. Yeah, of course. Well, if you, you can't know. remember it, now why should I? Well, I can't remember anything lately. You know, mm -hmm. I'm so stressed. I, I think call. Charlie has an answer. Yes, yeah. Charlie. Well, he's not he's not really explaining it right. There was another accusation against Kavanaugh where the woman said that she couldn't remember it. But, yes. But uh, there were 25 other people or something like that who did remember it. But the uh, New York Times forgot to mention that she didn't remember. And so the, the Republicans are all saying that invalidates the whole story. In spite of the fact that uh, there were like 20 other people who did the, remember. The other, the other 20, I think, is also fake news, Charlie. Uh, the, the, the thing was that the people that she said were there, uh, there was a book that came out. That's what it was. Yeah. Two women wrote a book, and it, and it had just come out, and the book was about Kavanaugh and uh, during his uh, school years and uh, they were claiming there was another rape and uh, she uh, the, the the person who she says was raped says she doesn't recall anything like that and she had never rape. met Kavanaugh it was an assault because an assault he right. stuck his penis in her face right and she says not only does she not remember it but I don't think she ever. Wait she minute, said she never, how, never how is, met him. I don't consider that assault. The Kavanaugh sticking his penis in her face is hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was well. It, it was an unverified story by the New York Times, and so they retracted that uh, and saying it was unverified. And people are saying that you know that's not the kind of news that the New York Times uh, should should be printing this uh, fake news. And no, they didn't uh, retract that one. All we did was they, they issued a story explaining that they, there was no they didn't verification. want to identify the woman, so they, they took they were going to take her name out, and they actually took the whole sentence out to mention that she didn't remember it. Right. They never retracted the story. Even when they put the correction out, they didn't retract the story. There well, are other should, witnesses that were there that verified Well, now you're saying they should have, Phil, but no you, you said they retracted yes, it, and they didn't retract it, Phil. Not only did they retract it, they uh, because Charlie, I don't think is remembering it right. Uh, they, they, <laughs> they said Does anybody uh, anybody out there they, remember this right? And call. they should never have remember printed, the facts my way. And they should never have printed that's the article. That's a completely different story. Yeah, I, that's the story that they tell the Republicans. No, that was a completely different story, and it wasn't about Kavanaugh. It was about something else. Uh. That they brought out where. They only had one source, and they shouldn't have published it because they didn't. Well, I happen, I, and the source I, I, happen to, I happen to agree with Phil. I can't imagine that Donald Trump or Kavanaugh would do anything untowards a, a woman. I, I just find that <laughs> beyond my my possible imaginings of anything. I mean, uh, complete it, gentleman. It, yes, he, because uh, Trump has got to be a complete gentleman. Uh, you know. It, it it's it's not like he it's not like he is, spreads himself around a lot. Well, maybe no, he's been no. married three times, but it's not like no he spreads pictures, him. nothing, no hmm? pictures, anything. No. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm you know I'm sure you know I'm sure he did not have sex with that porn star. Okay, I'm no. sure. He didn't have sure those nothing went on, on uh, and the, that he. Uh, I, it's the last thing I would expect out of him because he's such a honorable gentleman. Right, Phil? Never wrote a check. Never you wrote know, a check. We, we can't continue to uh, judge people by uh, behavior of the past. You know, when, when those things were going on. Well, wait a minute. How uh, long ago is the past? How about yesterday? 
<laughs> well, he didn't have sex with her yesterday. How about yesterday? How, okay, then how about a year ago? He didn't do it a year ago. How about two the years ago? The guy has ago? been a straight arrow since he was You elected. don't know that, Phil. Oh, yes. Do you think Bolani is going to let him out of his sight? Oh, absolutely. He's followed, he's absolutely. Followed he's Phil, Phil, no. Phil, Phil, he's Phil, Milani is in it for the money, okay? Yeah. He is being followed by Secret Service night and day. They, oh, sl- they, they sit in front of his door while he's asleep. Hey, Bill Clinton, they, they Bill Clinton was followed yeah, night and day by the, by, by, the high, by the by the uh, by the by uh, the the highway patrol or whatever they the, the state troopers down in uh, down in Arkansas. Arkansas and and he still managed to get laid all the time yeah right yeah, but he I, was I getting the state he was getting the state come out with their books <laughs> yeah he, he was getting the state troopers to get him women and they they dropped dime on him whereas like, like Trump never had somebody get him women i don't not lately if they did, there'd be somebody that would open their mouth. There's a whistleblower that thought he heard something on a There's phone like call. No, he didn't think he heard something on a phone call. He said he heard something on a phone call, Phil. Don't but say he, he didn't know what it is. He didn't, no, he knew what it was. But he's not going to tell us. Eight times in a phone call, it is reported, uh, he tried to convince the Ukrainian government to arrest uh, Biden's son. I thought Biden's son was dead. No, this is the other one. Um, He's got more than he had, like five. He has spares. Yeah. You know. Yeah, well, I guess what Biden's son did wasn't so on the up and up. You know, five billion. Uh, and then uh, the guy from the Ukraine, who I understand was a comedian, uh, you know, what, what kind of comedians they got in the Ukraine? Funny ones. <laughs> Funny you ones. Want to talk about somebody's sons. What about Trump's sons? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's talk about Uze and Kuze there. Yeah, well, uh, oh, so th- this is another what about, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, if, if, if yeah. you, you know, the, but the fact is that the president of the United States was trying to convince the Ukrainian government in an official capacity to go de- uh, go get his enemies. That, that's, I like it. That, uh, oh, you like yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think Biden's son was a crook. Biden's a crook. Wait a minute, how do you know and Biden's son was a crook? You know, you 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 you're, you're making five all these billion statements. dollars that. And you know who one who was one of his partners was, uh, yeah. Whitey Bulger's nephew. So you got Whitey. So Bulger's that's guilt. Nephew. That's guilt by association, you, right? You got so? Carrie's son, and then you got Biden's son. That's guilt by association, right? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. We're going to do guilt by association. There's five people from Trump's uh, re-election campaign that are in prison. So we're going to uh, do guilt by which association. Which hunt? Which hunt? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Boy, that's amazing. Anyway, uh, no, but I mean, uh, the fact is that, uh, um, um, you know, I, I look, I, I agree with you, Phil. Trump is so up and up and such an outstanding human being that I can't imagine that he would do any of the things that he's being accused of having done. Well, I'm glad you appreciate that. Yeah, I just wanted to make that point. I think it's important, and I, 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 I think you would agree with me that, uh, that he deserves every consideration because he is the president, and we should honor our president, right? No matter, and, and no matter the what. the Nobel Prize, too. You know, he if, let's say, tomorrow he grabbed a woman by the <laughs> pussy, we should allow him to do that. He's the president of the United States, and he can't do anything wrong. Well, yeah, that's, that's because the Democrats yeah. can't tax it. If the Democrats could find a way to tax grabbing people by the pussy, they would allow it, you know? Hey, so did, I'm like a day behind. Did you guys ask, you know, or did you talk about it at all, Phil, about what do you feel about the United States getting involved with what happened with uh, Saudi Arabia Saudi and Iran? Uh, well, I understand tonight uh, he's sending uh, some troops and, uh, and uh, our uh, battery de- defense, missile defense systems to Saudi Arabia. You know, and, something, uh, that's it, probably it, it, the right it, 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 Let me ask you this question. Them. They already yeah, bought all their weapons off, from yeah. us. Who's richer per capita? Uh, Saudi Arabia or the United States? Per capita? Yeah. I'm not sure. I based, on pop, based on popular, popular yeah, it would be Saudi, be Saudi Arabia. Saudi, Saudi Arabia is, <laughs> is so fucking flushed with money they don't know what to do with. They could wipe, their, they could wipe their ass with $1,000 <laughs> bills and not miss them, okay? So why are we doing anything to go protect yeah. them? Let them buy some goddamn weapons from us. They are. I believe that's what 
this is all about. You know, no, not let them buy weapons from us. Let them use their own weapons to defend their own selves. Yeah, develop their own their own uh, weapons programs. They, they got yeah. the muscle to defend themselves. Let them do it. Yeah, let Why them do get it. involved at all. Well, uh, so you're uh, now. How do you feel about the Iranians uh, bombing? Uh, a, a country next to them. It it's wasn't the Saudis. I, I think the I think the Saudis are such disgusting people. If I I only I praise them every time they bomb them. But well, you know, you know, it's I a always, thick move to bomb the oil fields. But you know, take care of it yourself. Why does the United States have to get involved? It ain't our fight. Well, they haven't proven that the Iranians did it. Uh, they're pretty sure they did. No, yeah, they, they haven't. Even, proven. even if they Regardless, did. Regardless, let them figure it out. The, the, the Saudis say they have the proof. But how do we believe the Saudis? Yeah, they could be lying. Yeah, they denied killing Khashoggi also. Khashoggi is the guy that has the proof. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, if we've got all this oil and we're doing so good in production and everything else, why the hell are we getting involved? By the way, Zim yeah. has written it's, it's on the our... the rest of the world. Zim has written on our uh, thing here, on our yeah. chat room. Uh, uh, stop it, Phil, please. You seemed almost human when you were talking about your dog. Yeah, well... <gasps> Uh, Zim, isn't that that uh, that awful restaurant in San Francisco that was open 24 hours? They used to have great hamburgers when they opened up originally. <laughs> Zim's, yeah, coffee yeah. and, and Zim's, burgers. Zim's, coffee and burgers. Yeah, th yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning, you knew you could get coffee and the burgers at Zim's. You That's betcha. Cool. Were they full-size burgers? Yeah, they were full-size. No, they were full-size oh, yeah. burgers. Yeah. They were great burgers. Well, in those days when they made hamburgers, you know, they were good hamburgers. Yeah, you Nobody made a bad shit-faced drunk. You didn't care, right? That's you know. where everybody went when they were shit-faced drunk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was like lions or, or I, where, where else? Yeah. Uh, remember lions? Yeah, yeah. Alex, yeah. you're and you're yeah. saying that they were good hamburgers back then. One thing you got to try to do because I've heard you talk about you know not getting the quality of meat you used to be able to. Yeah, get antibiotic-free meat. Yeah, tastes really? so much different. No, but I like antibiotic meat because then I don't have to go out and pay for penicillin. Right, <laughs> you know, my corpse will never decompose. <laughs> no, I've just found that meat isn't very good lately. You know, because I, you're I, not getting uh, antibiotic-free meat. It, what? What'd you say, it's Charlie? Very good because of all the antibiotics. Yeah, yeah. Is it because of all the antibiotics that the, that the food sucks? Yeah. No, I, I, I just went and shopped today and got all sorts of organic vegetables and I just juiced enough juice for the next two and a half days. What was uh, that with beef? Well, I'm not going to do beef anymore. <laughs> You're not going to do? Why not? Well, because uh, on, when I juice, uh, my sugar goes down. I know it would go down with the beef. Sugar? But, it, what do you think's in juice, Phil? Yeah. Uh, it, it's for wait, one wait, reason wait, or hold another. On a second. We, have a, uh, we have another diabetic here. Uh, 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 tell them, Charlie. No, my doctor says don't drink juice. If you want, if you like fruit, eat the whole fruit. I'm not don't doing fruit. I'm doing green. Uh, you know, uh, kale. Where, where, who, 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 well, listen, let me just say this, and and I say Spinach. this, I say this with all seriousness. Death is better than kale. Okay. Hey, it's you ever have so some bad. kale chips? What? <laughs> Kale chips are good. Yeah. Kale chips? Yeah, you uh, kind of get a little spritz of uh, like a, uh, either olive oil or butter type of stuff, and you throw them in the oven, put a little seasoning on it, let them crisp up, and they're good. Sounds good. So uh, you well, found something to do with kale besides using it as shingling? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I use the dinosaur kale, which is really ugly. It's really, you know, it's got a lot of texture to it. And it's so green that it's almost black. Phil, you know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know, that, that for instance, my friend Walter Sabo is here, and he's a diabetic. Everybody I know yeah. around me is a diabetic. What is it? I'm so sweet that everybody goes into diabetic comas. Uh, but he uh, he has gone into doing uh, a, a low a low carb diet because yeah. of his diabetes, and it has dropped. In just, oh, uh, mine did too when I did the low carb diet, yeah. but the other thing that didn't drop was my cholesterol. Well, my cholesterol dropped. Did, what too, didn't but, drop uh, was your other testicle. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the cholesterol dropped when I did the meat, uh, the the Atkins. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, is uh, I wound up with heart disease. 
and uh, and having to get a you know. Yeah, but you're blaming on uh, you know, uh, uh, Yes, uh, Jason. It's, sorry, with this food talk, I got to ask: Has anybody else here tried the impossible from the one? I I did. Place? I did. Uh, the other night, I was I was starving, and I was coming back from Marin, and I stopped at a Burger King, and they have the two for six. So I said, "Give me one Whopper and one Impossible Burger." I ate the Impossible Burger first. It was delicious. It to and, me, I don't know if it was the way I had it, so that's why I want to ask you. Was it yeah. basically just tastes like a Whopper, but a little dry? It wasn't dry at all. It was delicious. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What is like in the Impossible Burger? It's the Probably Impossible soy. It's a huh? It's, uh, it's yeah, but you know what it is? It's all that sodium. Probably. Well, no, but here's no, the thing. Here's the thing. Here, 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 let me let me just say this. If you're gonna have a burger, hmm. you want a burger. You want a meaty, juicy burger. If you now don't want to eat a burger. To eat something that reminds you of a burger is stupid. Either well, eat yeah, the burger or eat the soy, but don't eat the the, the the impossible burger. It, it, know it's tasty. Cause, he had a regular too. You get the Whopper. The I, actual I get cost of you. beef, though, is the actual issue. Beef is producing so much methane gas into our atmosphere right now. If you can make a way to grow a plant that actually helps the atmosphere and make it taste like actual beef, why not? Well, I mean, methane... Uh, and it's not full of antibiotics and bullcrap that you're not supposed to have in your body? You know what You know what I, you know what I heard today? There's a documentary on Netflix, three-episode uh, documentary on Bill Gates. It's called The Brain oh, of I Bill Gates. It's very good. It's very What's good. it called? The Brain of Bill Gates. And what it does is it, it really deals with his way of dealing of, with problems and things like that and how his brain works, Right. To begin with, an absolutely voracious reader. I mean, you he can't believe he, he reads fast and he reads a lot, okay? Uh, and it talked about each episode deals with the kind of project he's been working on. One first one was trying to wipe out polio in Nigeria. Um, uh, not polio. They're trying to wipe out uh, dysentery in uh-huh. Nigeria. The reason being, do you know, do you know that I think something like like 100 million kids or something every year die of dysentery. Now, and it's not in the United States because nobody dies of no. dysentery in the United Isn't States. Isn't that from yes. dirty water? It's from dirty water. And you should see some of the sludge they show in this documentary. I mean, no wonder. They're just, if they go swimming in a river, they're swimming in pure shit. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So he w- w- was working with his foundation to come up with ways of creating... Uh, toilets that could then resolve themselves in a way that wouldn't use electricity because it's very hard to get electricity or plumbing. And Have you seen those waterless toilets? Well, wait a minute. I'm talking about something else, Phil, right now. Oh, that's not no, what he No, meant? it's not what we're talking about. He, he, but, but it, so he's trying to solve that problem, okay? The other thing he's trying to do is he's trying to come up with a nuclear power plant that isn't risky okay and the reason he says that people think that nuclear power is so risky is because uh, we have had some bad situations in the past and it's all been from plants which were built based on 50 year old plans you know nobody has come up with a new way of doing a nuclear plant and what he's done is he's been working on plans for a nuclear plant that will not cause the problems that we've had in the past. To begin with, the one he's building only uses spent fuel rods. In other words, if it's already been used, he can reuse it. And That's keep what it, they do in the France. Yeah, and keep it yeah. going for 10 years. But the, the waste that comes off of but, that no, is like no, 10 but, times but, worse than but the he waste also comes has, off he also has a way of handling the waste, you see. And, well, well, and, and if you watch the documentary, it's fascinating watch it. what he's trying to come yeah. up with, you know, because he says that he honestly believes, that, as I have often said, that nuclear power is the, is the power we should be using because it is the cleanest of all the power we could use. He said, you know, how many people have died from nuclear accidents? And he said, maybe a thousand. How many people have died from coal in the air? You know, oh, forget. you know, he said, forget mm-hmm. it. You know, so the, the reality is, is that you're safer. 
with uh, with uh, your safe or with, yeah, with once with they can nuclear. figure out something to do with that waste. Well, he that said lasts the, the, millions of years. The problem <laughs> with nuclear was the human factor and people human error and, 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 and the waste. Yeah, yeah, and the way that they're built. Yeah, they, they have a certain way of being built that is kind of strange. The and problem then, with nuclear is the fuel that they use. Yes. It's deadly for hundreds of thousands of years, and there's nothing you can do about well, it because that's they showed they showed this one area where they have... By the way, you're frozen, uh, Kevin, so turn off your camera and turn it back on, will you? No, I see him moving. Really? He's moving? He's not yeah. moving for me here. Yeah. Yeah. See his hands moving. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well. He's frozen on he's he's frozen in New York. Okay. Well, now his picture just went away. Yeah, his picture just went away. Okay. <laughs> no, here, well, I guess he turned it there off. There we go. Off. There we go. Now he's fine. Okay. I, so far as I'm concerned. Uh no, but what they were saying is is that uh, uh uh there are a bunch of problems with nuclear power and it has to do with the way things have been built in the past and that you can build things now where they will be perfectly contained, and that you know the problem with a uh, with most po uh, nuclear power plants is they have to stay on in order not to go bad. Okay, yeah. it's when well, they lose nuclear power doesn't happen when they either. lose their power. <laughs> when they lose their power is when they run into trouble, uh, and they, most times they have backup power. For instance, in uh, Japan, they have backup power, but they were it was diesel power, and all their diesel engines were uh, flooded got flooded <laughs> exactly the so then there was nothing to then cool the rods and then the whole thing exploded okay he what they've come up with is something where if that happens that doesn't make it go bad you know that they use uh, they're going to use instead of hot rods instead of water to surround it they're going to use liquid metal and liquid metal will not uh, go bad Okay. That, I saw that on Terminator. Uh, Terminator that doesn't 2, sound I like think. that's good. I can't talk about something. anything serious, Phil, without <laughs> you trying to make a joke. Well, okay, why not? But, yeah, why not? Anyway, so, liquid metal. You're free. But anyway, wa watch this documentary. The stuff he's working on. He's a pretty amazing guy. That's Mercury. I mean, this guy is brainiac. Well, he, this guy is, is amazing. Right. His his brain. Just, Maybe there's a way to keep the mercury cool to. That's how you keep it. It isn't metal. mercury; it's metal. It's mercury liquid. Is a metal. It's liquid metal. Yeah, but most metals it, are liquid at temperatures of thousands of degrees. No, and but, only mercury is a metal that's not. This is no, liquid. This is not, liquid metal. Is this is liquid metal. This is liquid metal. That's not melted metal. It's liquid metal, and so therefore, it's at a very cool temperature. It's not a very hot temperature. Watch the documentary if you have Netflix. I'm watch, You'll see. Yeah, I, I it's really it. fascinating, absolutely fascinating. The documentary that got mm -hmm. me into juicing oh, was called "Sick, <laughs> Fat, and <laughs> Nearly <laughs> Dead." Sick, <laughs> fat, and nearly dead. It was on Netflix. Well, I'm not like, sick. Hey, I'm me. not fat, and I'm the not nearly dead. I so, shit like a shark. You were. Wait, what? Some weight? No, I was you only know, fat. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. And now Phil is frozen. So how are you yeah. doing, Phil? Are you down weight or are you uh, just keeping the same? Or I'm down 10, and now I'm going back on another fast for five or six days. I, did, Jeff, did you want to say something? Is that I thought I saw you. Is he frozen to everybody else? He's not no, frozen, no, 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 but he's no. muted. He's muted. No, I'm talking about you, Phil. You're frozen. Oh, oh you, no. Turn off I your camera and turn it back on. No, but I, I wanted to talk about... Yeah about soybeans of all yeah. things. So we always keep talking about the president and China is screwing the soybean business for us. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I tried to find out what was really going on and I actually had some friends in Argentina who told me the answer. In China, they used to, they, they prefer to eat pork. That's their, their favorite meat. Mm -hmm. And they had a major, major disease in pork in China. Well, that's why we Jews don't eat pork. That's right. Yeah, trichinosis. Well, trichinosis, yeah. So 
Phil, would you I turn your camera? You would you taste. turn? It's Phil. I asked you. Would you turn your camera off and on, please? Because sure. you're frozen. Yeah. So they're figuring like, well, what are we going to do? We don't have enough pork, and we can't get enough pork someplace else. And since we don't have pork and we can't get it, we don't need soybeans, because that's the way we used to keep the pork grow up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Find out my friends in Argentina yeah. have beef that mm -hmm. they produce, and it's absolutely, what do we call it? You were talking about, it's it's pure. It's mm -hmm. not poisonous or anything. Uh, it's organic, basically. It's organic. They're they're natural stuff, <clears throat> yeah. and they're selling beef for China. Really? Like billions of this stuff to produce their food. And guess what? They get their own soybeans. Mm. So what? that's the equation. Yeah. I, I thought China actually bought a lot of pork from us too. Well, they probably tried to, but. You know they probably are buying it. Well, but the by the way, is, part of the documentary is is that he he had to find people who could build this uh, test nuclear plant, and he went to China and got the Chinese to agree to it. And when they finally agreed to it, all of a sudden Trump came out with his stuff against China, and now he can't do business with them. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Go watch it. It's a great. It's a great documentary. Also, anybody watching the country music thing that Ken Burns did? No. No. I, I, we, we just find, a second of it, and that's all. I, why? I'm, I'm, what do you mean a second? I just of it? didn't have the chance. No. Yeah. I was supposed to be a CMA member. I, I don't <clears> know what happened to that. Maybe they just signed me up and used my vote. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would you be a CMA member? Uh, because uh, my friend was setting that up for me, uh, and also. But what, what is your uh, qualification to be a member of the CMA? Pictures. I'm going to be photographing for six radio stations, uh, country western radio stations. In uh, two of them are in the uh, in California, and four of them are in other parts of the country. I don't think it's so called country. Be, I don't think it's hmm? called country and western any longer. Yeah. Well. Uh, you better learn I don't even what know it's who called. The artists are. Huh? I don't even know who the artists are. It's They're just going to tell me where to go. Anymore. They're going to tell me where to go and who to who to photograph. And as long as I get full access, I don't care, you know. Full access to what? Uh, backstage and you know on the stage in front of the stage. And how much are they, are, they, the are they paying you for this? No. Nah. Oh, they found a sucker, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I get CMA membership. No, well, no, that, that's, that's worth. I don't think bucks. you'll get a CMA membership for that. Well, they, there's, they, you know, they're there, doing there, there are qualifications you have to meet in order to, you know, have to be, I think, an artist or a producer in order to be uh, a member of the artist, CMA. He's a photographer. He's a photographer. Photographer, right. You know, but it, it, being a photographer for a couple of weeks, it does not qualify you. <laughs> I've been photographing since the 70s. No, 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 no. I'm saying, <laughs> you, but you haven't photographed. How many country people have you photographed in that time? Uh, None. None. Actually, okay. I, All right. I was set up to photograph Charlie Daniels, and I didn't feel like driving down to where it was. There was a uh, there's a place near San isn't, Luis Obispo. Isn't Charlie Daniels dead? Uh, he wasn't uh, at the I, time. No, yeah. he's still alive. Yeah, no, but there's yeah, another. Yeah. I, there's Charlie Daniels on this documentary, but he doesn't look like the Charlie Daniels, or is old enough to be the Charlie Daniels. That Seven looks uh, like Charlie used to, that I used to hear <laughs> yeah. about, you know. Uh, he didn't look as fat as the old Charlie Daniels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah where, where the hell was this town? Uh, it was. Uh, it's way up in the mountains, and uh, the only thing that's there is a post office and a bar uh, that has country music, uh, and a landing strip. Uh, Try. I can't remember the name of the place anymore. I'm getting worse than Alex. What, are you supposed to go there? No, that's where I was supposed to shoot Charlie Daniels, and I just didn't feel oh, like driving. Oh, oh, you were going to shoot Charlie Daniels? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could be job. impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, so I bet... I, Pozo. I, that's it. Pozo, California. You ever hear of it? I've heard of Bozo. 
Pozo, and there's a place called the Pozo uh, uh, River Bottom Bar, and they have the Pozo River Bottom Band, and people fly in, all sorts of artists fly in just to jam with these guys, but now they have an actual venue uh, outside, big, holds maybe 3,000 people, and uh, that's where I was supposed to shoot. I him. think Kevin's frozen again. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, no, he's not on, he's not yeah, on. No, on I see him. <laughs> no, what's happening is on the uh, YouTube. Uh, he's frozen. I but know. He's not frozen I, on Skype. I, no, he's he's frozen. And turn yourself on and off again, Kevin. I, you know. Say if men could do that, we hot. wouldn't. If <laughs> men could do that, we wouldn't need women. <laughs> Never miss an opportunity, do you, Phil? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, let's see here. What, they, they, now, now you're fine, Kevin. I I don't understand what's happening oh, here. Wow. I, it, but the lights flickering and the, the, the video and the, yeah. the, the, the fuck, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. See, you didn't believe me. I told you, it's the North Koreans. Yeah. So. Um, with. Yeah. So anyway, uh, but let me see here. What else? Uh, what else do I? Uh, what uh, is there? You know, because as I say, I'm finding it harder and harder to watch the news. It's just. What about um, Trudeau and his blackface? Oh boy. Oh, no, yeah. brown face, not black face. Those brown. Oh, brown face. face uh, yeah. He did black face too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Well, let's ask Charlie how he feels about it. <laughs> you know. Hey, I'm brown. Why don't you ask me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not our country or nothing, but he sure right? stood up and faced it. <laughs> yeah, he did face it. He he hasn't like you know. He apologized. He some stuff that they didn't know about and, and, and stood up and faced it. Well, how long ago did he do this? Uh, what? High school, I think. Yeah, 2001, 2001 was the one that they found. Was he in college or high school? Okay, so we're, we're, talking, we're talking about 18, 18 years ago. Yeah. I, it, was, there should be was like a, a teacher who went back to a party. There should be an expiration date on this shit. But, well, you on know, top of also, that... The one picture I saw, he was standing with two guys in a turban too. I mean, it was like it was a it was a, a theme night that yeah, night. Too. Costume party. So you know, and that's the thing you, you know, talk about on, really? intent. What, what was the was intent? It, was know? it Prince Charles that dressed like a Nazi? Yeah. Or yeah. or is? No, yeah, it wasn't yeah. Charles. It oh, was, it was the uh, other no, brother. Uh, uh, Prince uh, 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 Harry. Well, Andrew. Well, or Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, uh, dressed like a Nazi. He apologized for it, and you know, it was it was a it costume wasn't party. Prince Andrew. It was a prince. Harry, Harry, I think. Harry. Harry yeah. because Andrew's the, right. Andrew's the one who who fucked some of uh, what's his name's women. Uh, yeah, Epstein's Epstein's women. Yeah. So he was getting Epstein's dirty seconds. No, no. I mean, Epstein <laughs> was like giving fourth. him sloppy firsts. <laughs> sloppy seconds. That's it. At, at that age, I don't think it's a sloppy second. I think it's a sloppy point five. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, Three point. No, and of course Andrew's denying it like crazy, but this woman is coming forward saying, "I fucked him." <laughs> you know, <laughs> I fucked him. You know, what more proof do you need? I fucked him. Mm. You know. Did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he said it twice. I mean, <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I, I just, uh, I, I guess what I, I am I'm bothered by constantly, and I even bothered by when it happens with Trump, too, when there are all these insinuations made without some kind of real solid proof or any court action having taken place. You know, we were talking about it last night with uh, with uh, Walter. I mean, you know, these all these cases of Me Too and, um, you know, this happening and that happening. And yet, there's not that 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 proof positive about those things happening. There goes the light oh, flickering. Oh, he's about to kill his mom. What? Yeah. <laughs> chloroform. Use chloroform. The stairs just push. Yeah. Right. He's trying to escape. Don't worry, uh, Tony. Janet Lee's coming over to visit soon. So. Oh my goodness. You can have her take. You can have her take, a, you can have her take a shower. Okay. Uh, I just had to flog the toilet. What? <laughs> what? Oh God! She just came back from Long Island. I don't want to. Who came back from Long something. Island? My mom. I thought your mother. I thought your. I thought your mother was bedridden. Well, she, she gets out. My cousin took her out there today, and she's all excited. She came home, but she goes, "Oh, she goes. I gotta go to the bathroom," and she she puts too much toilet paper, and so I'm in there, flushing it down. I've like I got. She's. I'm going to bed now. I heard that ten minutes ago. 
I had a house with some of those kinds of plumbing problems. You got to intermittently flush. You know, uh, you Hold just can't wait until the end of the deal. Flush. Yeah, the courtesy yeah, flush. I'll be right courtesy. back. Don't you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Tony gets paid enough. I think there's a sitcom in this, don't you? You still have dogs? I never hear anything about them anymore. He ate them. <laughs> the series can call, be called Mom, Can We Get New Wallpaper? <laughs> I, I think they all like it. Hmm? You know, they all like it. Oh, we love his wallpaper. That's the most hideous wallpaper ever. Don't, don't you agree, Tony? Isn't that hideous wallpaper? It's horrible, Alex. This is but not you, my but you like the paneling? Like, let's say, let's say, God forbid, your, your mother should buy it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, buy what? Uh, buy it tomorrow. A farm. She's gonna live a long time. I can see it. Would you? God willing. Would you? Uh, you know? Would you do the pay Change the wallpaper. They, she, if she were my mother, before the, she could be in the funeral parlor. While she was there, I'd be changing that fucking wallpaper. <laughs> you know, and to hope but you know, get that you, steamer. I, I what? probably would because you, we actually do in the back room. We have a guy coming. She's picking out what she wants, so a, a different color. I'm gonna make it like a little den in the back. So we're working on that room next. That's our new project. So, but you know. I, I got hey, the guy your your boss, here. your boss just ran into My a boss, problem there, yeah. Tony. Uh, okay. He's no longer running for president. De Blasio. Oh, did Blasio oh. quit? Yeah, well, Blasio, you, Blasio you quit today. Yes. Was he, he, wait a minute, let me ask you this question: Was he running as a communist? <laughs> no, really? You know, I mean, he should have done better. You got uh, a socialist, a communist. Why not De Blasio? <laughs> you know, he was a communist. Who's the communist? Uh, he really, uh, Bernie. He's late. Bernie's not a communist. Not a communist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I listen to those guys. They're communists. Oh, yeah. Well, if yeah. they're Did communists, you know, they the if you can prove to me they're communists, I'm voting for them for sure. <laughs> Hell, Trump hangs around Putin all the time. Talk about communists. To begin with, to begin with, there, hard, there are no communists left in the world except in North Korea and at a at and a, new, a and, at and a, new hampshire. A, an apartment in berkeley you know yeah, new hampshire new hampshire bernie yeah bernie yeah. bernie's a communist right yeah, yeah. Bern, i don't think he's really a communist no he's not no tony don't even yeah. don't even go there phil is just making oh, did him, you, would, phil's making his did usual you asshole say? of himself nah what did de blasio say tony oh it was i was listening to 10 10 wins this morning cuz i was just having my coffee so my sister says, you got to hear what the mayor just said. She called me up. She was leaving to teach. And I put it on. And he told the kids today in high school, because they were, it's actually, I kind of agree with him. They were having some kind of a protest in the city for clean air, because I think the UN's going to meet next week or something. So he told the kids in high school, all the public schools, if you get a note from your mom, you can miss school today. Go down to the by the trade center or that area and protest. My brother said there were so many people there, because he works by the new trade center. He says, you couldn't. It was like thousands of kids. So if you were allowed to cut school today in high school, as long as you came in Monday with a note, it didn't go against your absentee. He, he's actually he had, said you can leave you know, school. Tony, he, that guy had Trump's, nice. he had Trump's crowd counter uh, on that thing. But, you know, I was at the first Earth Day in 69, was it? 69 yeah. was the first Earth Day? No, the first Earth yeah. Day was uh, when, were, when were Adam and Eve. That was the first <laughs> Earth Day. Uh, oh, you're really pushing them jokes now, Bennett. You know? <laughs> but, uh, no, the first Earth Day, I think, was in 69. And, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I went to that. Yeah, it was later than that, wasn't it? it was it 70? Uh, no, I think it was the 69. It was no later than 1970. Yeah, yeah, sixty-nine or seventy, what? but what, whatever it was, I was there. Yeah, well, they've been having a Me lot too. of uh, de they've been having a lot of demonstrations around right now. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, Greta that, Greta that kid started yeah. there kid? in New York, Tony. That's that's who did that. You know, yeah, my New brother York. said it was like he couldn't go to lunch. He says they were sold out. Now it now was just like it was really like they start doing that every Friday. They were trying to do one out here. And my daughter wanted to go to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My daughter, you know, uh, I don't know if she can hear me or not, but she got really upset the other night. The other what? night, my wife said she went in there and talked to my daughter, and she started crying over this earth, this climate change thing. Oh shit! She's 15 years old, 
And she was she she went in there and she was she was reading something on the on the web, and, and she goes, you know, what is the government going to do about climate change? You know, they're not listening to anybody. What am I going to do when I grow up? She started crying about this shit. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing going, is, the, the thing is, you are seeing a, you are seeing she a lot of kids. You are seeing a lot of kids demonstrate about this because they and realize. She wanted to go to the demonstration today. Hey, yeah. you know, I'm not going to live long enough to see the problems from this. Kids who are, oh, you know, in their yeah. in 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 their early <laughs> years, you guys, hope not, are going to maybe see some really horrid stuff happening. It's already happening. I mean, and well, that's what yeah. she's worried about, I guess. You know, and I, I, I'm I'm trying to understand it. You know, I'm trying to tell her, you know, this stuff may not happen when you're alive, but she's she's really believing. I guess you know, from what they're saying in school and everything else, who knows? She might see some of this shit. Well, you want to help her. Just tell her to watch Fox, and they'll say it's a communist plot that, you know, <laughs> staged no, by Bernie. Well, Fox, Fox, Fox. 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 Yeah. Ostrich with the head in the ground. Hey, Alex, yep. I got to... But, you know, well, but wait a minute. Hold on, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Charlie, okay. you were saying ostriches with their heads in the ground. Go ahead. Go yeah. with that thought a little bit. But you know what, Alex? You're right about something. I was watching an old documentary on New York. And you had to see, you're right, the smog and the, and the stink in the air. So the bus is now clean air. So I think it's actually better now. It has to be. No, no, no. It's better in certain ways where we've been able we've been able to get like we could get it done here in New York City because people were so disgusted by the smog. The same thing out in California, in certain places <laughs> yeah. in California. Uh, but the fact is that that's not what we're talking about. That's not what the real problem is. If smog were the only problem, we'd be okay. But we're talking about air inversions and so on, and that's that we may be we may be earlier we, with the Impossible Burger. You well, know, we may the, we may beef, be heading beef for causes so much methane to put in the air. Well, because well, you can't you're talking about <laughs> urbanization of the the of Brazil when the, when the fires down there and how people are burning up the the rainforest, slash and burn to plant a farm, and half of that yeah, farms are the, cattle. What you know, yeah. putting more and, methane. And that in up north, you know, in Greenland, where all, where all the, the icebergs are melting, to that, com that, that combination of those two things happening, yeah. that's a disaster. We're well, you know something? What they were so talking anyway. about in this documentary with, uh, with uh, 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 Bill Gates, uh, uh, Gates. Uh, what, was that what they wanted to do was convert the feces into methane, and the methane then into steam, and the steam will drive turbines, and then they will have the electricity to run these plants and not be yeah. putting any impact on the on the ecology in order to drive these plants or to get the electricity to drive them with. In other words, they would be self-driving because the poop would then drive them because of the methane. And years ago, I said that I felt that there was so much shit being poured into the Hudson River or down into the sewers of New York City that really we should change that back and and extract some of the methane from that and use that for power. The company that I used to work for was doing that. They were extracting methane from the shit plants mm -hmm. to run cars. Yeah. This is a shitty idea. It is, and it's a pretty damn good shitty idea. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the idea. I mean, I, and I, I was proposing that years ago, and people were laughing at me, and I was saying, no, I mean, what... Well, every every time we flush a toilet, we're flushing away possible energy sources. Yeah, because the, the the methane is a, is a good energy source. Yeah, and, they, and it can be captured. And so when they I saw have, when I saw this thing today on the power plants that we're trying to create in order to recycle the poop in these countries that had diarrhea problems, one of the plans was is that they would take the poop to create methane, the methane that would then be turned into steam, steam would drive the turbines, which would then also power the uh, the plant. So it would be self-powering. Yep. So there's yep. one I saw was a water purification thing. I don't know if maybe that was the same thing you were seeing. Was, they're using the feces to power well, water they, they purification Well, also, uh, also part of this plant is water purification, turning uh, the waste into water. And, uh, uh, and in they're fact, saying it's really in, not that. In fact, they had Bill Gates have a glass of the water. He says, yeah. tastes just like water, you know. I might have seen that because I do remember that that water refinery thing, and they were actually saying it's really not that expensive to do. It's not. Well, it's I mean, not. they say the thing that was so telling in this documentary is that the diarrhea uh, is one of the one of the th biggest killers in the world. You know, uh, so. Uh, 
we need to, that's what he's trying to solve the problem of. And I, it's amazing what a good guy he's turned into, you know? I and like the, him. He's favorite. Yeah, and the projects that he's, you know, he's taken that, you know, you, that great scientific mind of his and is putting it towards products that could literally save the human race. And I, I he's turned into a pretty good guy. I used to think he was the, the money to do it. When, when do you think the day would happen that you'd think that Gates was a good guy and Jobs was an asshole? But you know, I mean, it's true. Um, it is true. I mean, Jobs sounds like a mean person. Yeah, and he was. It wasn't Jobs like anti like uh, like medicine pretty much. Is that you remember he was he was like didn't want to even get like checked out pretty much. I was reading. It was at least well, I was well, reading. It was like so many time. so many men. He was afraid of going to a doctor. Yeah, By was the he time just he did, it was, get, it, was no? get, it was getting to be too late, you know. Yeah. He wasn't a Christian scientist or whatever those. No, he like Jim Henson. He might have been. Yeah, he didn't believe in like that's what it sounded like to me. When I was reading on him. Well, Jim like, Henson was a was a Scientologist. Yeah, like and, did, did he not want to get? I remember reading that when he got sick. Well, he finally he he finally to took him into a hospital, but it was too late. He had some kind of stroke late, yeah. or something. And, uh, I thought died. the ones that didn't. They believe in doctors weren't Scientologists, that they were uh, Christian, Christian scientists. scientists. Yeah. Christian, Christian science, scientists. excuse me, you're right. Christian scientists. Christian scientists are the ones, yeah. I, I'm getting towards the end of the show and I get loopy now. I really should do a 15 minute show every night and I'd be really fresh. You know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know. So, anyways. Oh, I, hmm? I wanted to comment. I have to say, the Bobby Slayton show was great. You got to bring him on more. Yeah, we yeah. will. We're going to do it more often. Got to bring him on more. Yeah, You're it was fr- great to hear him the other night. You're frozen again. I don't understand this. Yeah. It's cold yeah. over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. hot. Yeah. Then we'll turn turn your camera off and turn it back on again. Okay. Uh, Here I am in go. Idaho. See, and then we go boom, and he'll be we'll watched. Go back from Idaho back to. Uh, yeah, there we California. go. Yeah, see, there he is. There, now he's now he's full, full, going full blast. Uh, so what else do we want to talk about? What else is in the news? Come on, Phil. You got Looks like yeah. Netanyahu is uh, behind Gantz. Uh, the Gantz's Blue and White Party, uh, I think, have a few more seats mm-hmm. than Netanyahu, but there seems to be a coalition that he, Netanyahu may be putting together that will give him power. Uh, it's either the ultra-orthodox right uh, have nine seats, and so if he can put a coalition together with them, then he'll remain in power. But you know what's interesting? Is the Arabs have actually won 13 seats, and this in the first time that they're represented in the uh, Knesset. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, you know, the Arabs tr- uh, have the right to vote. They, uh, I think 21% of the population uh, is, is Arab. Yeah, but... Uh, and, I, and in I, Israel, where they're so bad, they're actually giving them the opportunity to vote. Well, I hope so Net, I hope, I hope Netanyahu loses because he is such a fucking crook. Yeah, so. uh, because he took cigars and scotch. Huh? Did he? That, that's what he took: cigars and scotch. Somebody gave him cigars and scotch. Uh, you know, he's going to throw his party over for cigars and scotch. I, I think it's probably more than that, Phil. It was two cigars then. <laughs> you know, it, it, he took cigars and scotch. That that was that was it. Uh, let me look. I, I think it's uh, you know they're doing to him what they try to do to Trump. Let me look. Net and Yahoo. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, yes, Net and Yahoo. Oh, it's under Wikipedia. It is a uh, the merging of Netscape and Yahoo. Yeah. Uh, Wikipedia, so. you could really believe all the time, too. Or you could update it to Netflix and Yahoo. <laughs> Netanyahu's t- tra- tales, uh, trails Gantz by uh, two seats. Yes. Yeah. Because he was trailing him by three l- earlier. So. Yeah. Or it could even be Gab Net and Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, hope he, I hope he's out of there. You know. Well, I, if he he needs a coalition, and if he gets a coalition with the ultra orthodox, <laughs> he's he's in power. Netanyahu, uh, what, 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 what is he charged with? Uh, um, fraud? Uh, Let's see here. Accepting see. Um, gifts or something like that. Uh, accepting, okay, accepting gifts. Oh, what's that? Oh, Ray Renati, missed call. Oh, R- oh. Ray, try calling again. I think I didn't just didn't see him calling. Uh, let me see here. Accepting gifts. Okay. 
Here we go. Uh, he, and that now who uh, admits to receiving gifts, uh, but insists they were trifles. That's his insistence. Cigars and scotch. Uh, they re received gifts from businessmen, but insisted they were entirely legal. Um, Say what it was? Meanwhile, Channel 10 News reported the gifts were believed to have been worth hundreds of thousands of shekels. And it but did not say worth anything. whether the prime minister had given any well, statement on their value. I got pesos worth more than them. So anyway, you know, who knows? Who knows? Oh, here, here comes Ray. Let me he see. He was given a redrawn map by Trump. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, remember <laughs> Trump was holding up a map <laughs> of Israel uh, and it had part of some uh, yeah. uh, neighborhood. It had somewhere. Alabama in it. Let me see here. Let me put Ray here. Let's see hey, here. Ray. It's Goomba. And... Uh, yeah. There we go. He got Israel, there we go. and then he had a little line drawn, yeah. Alabama, next yeah. to Israel. Yeah. There's, uh, there's, there's Ray. What, what, Ray, why is your head down? Why is your head down? It's like, are you there, Ray? Can you hear us? Uh, he gave yeah. up. He was, he, he was keeping his head to the grindstone. No, he, he couldn't get his sound to work or something. Uh, yeah, I heard him say, I can't. And then that's when he... Yeah. Oh, really? Was this earlier? Are you there, Ray? Can you hear us? No, I Ray's think he's gone. gone. He hung Ray's up. He, he, he hung, hung up. up. He'll call back. Oh, okay, well. Uh, you, you know, when I got rear-ended on the, on the way to Ray's what play. What was his name? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I had a camera installed in my car about two months ago that takes pictures out in the front of the car. Yeah. Of course, I didn't get the one that did the back window, but... Uh, so I said, ah, I've got a picture of what happened in front of me, 100, 110 degrees. Mm -hmm. So I, the other day I take out the chip. It's this little microchip. Mm -hmm. And it, this chip isn't that big. I kept recording the next day, and I lost the stuff from the accident. Oh, so really? It records for one day. So I need to get a, a bigger chip. This is uh, eight, uh, 8 gigabytes. Oh, um, yeah, you got to get the 64. Yeah, Jesus Christ, you know. And, I figured, ah, no big deal. take it out deal. right away because it continuously loops. Mine right. continuously loops. Yeah. So, you, you know, I've watched all those things that uh, Alex used to talk about on YouTube, the Russian accidents. Yeah. And so I, I went out and got one of those uh, one of those. Well, the other, thing, the other thing, Phil, is there's a button on there that when that happens, you push it, mm -hmm. and it'll lock it. Well... They installed it behind my mirror, so I couldn't really get to it. You know, it was like, I didn't yeah, see it. there should be a button on there. You just push it, and it'll lock it. Too late you, now. Are you, you still yeah, driving your old Toyota? Yeah, I love that car. So you probably uh, update the radio and get a rear-view mirror installed, too. Or uh, I, ha I have a rear-view camera, uh, and I did update oh, the it radio. It just doesn't record? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Uh, and uh, the guy... The guy said to me, oh, well, this, this one is $300, and the one that does the rear window is $800. I said, okay, give me the front. You know, <laughs> you know that's what I was almost thinking. I have, you know, it's a 2012 Dodge Avenger, but I love my car. But yeah. the one thing I like, I wish my radio was kind of up to date, you know, with the Bluetooth and all the nav system yeah. and everything in it. I got, in 2011, when I bought it, I mm -hmm. got a, uh, yeah. a, a really good radio, an Alpine uh, with GPS and... I had the speakers changed. It was three grand for all of that stuff, and that's, that there, sounds well, great. Well, there's like Ray. We've great. got Ray. Can you hear us, Ray? Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. I bought my car cam for ninety nine bucks and stuck it up there myself. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> install my own. <laughs> Works they great. Did a good job. Why did you get the camera? Oh, me or J uh, Kevin? You. Um, I started watching those YouTube things with all the Russian accidents, and <laughs> I thought it was a cool <laughs> gadget to have. Yeah, you wanted so, to have it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, and, the re uh, also uh, I uh, somebody tapped my fender, and uh, I couldn't prove it. Yeah. And so nothing happened. You know, the insurance didn't pay me, didn't pay them. Mm -hmm. So if I had one of those things, I would have been covered. Oh, and I see. That's that's why. I got okay. It. I got one of these uh, these uh, picture these uh, deals uh, of the uh, new um, uh, uh, Alexa, okay. Yeah. Uh, but a small one that's right here. But now it's it's just got a picture of me over and over and over again, and I don't want that. So, Is that what you put on it? You know what? I just you can see I, yourself I, over and over. 
Hmm? I don't know what it, 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 what's causing it, but. Ray, we got your ceiling. Yep. Yeah, I, I, hold on. I'm sorry. I, I, I had to do this with my phone because it's not working on the computer. I don't know what's wrong. I have to uninstall it and reinstall. Right, right. I'm no. tired of Skype, man. Piece of crap. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway. I have a dash cam, Phil. Yeah, you too? Yeah, I got... Oh, I have well, a, you, you uh, drive I have video. Uber. Yeah, I have an amazing video of a brawl on 6th Street. I'll, really? I'll send, you, I'll, I'll send oh, the link yeah. to you. Hey, you know, yeah. uh, the the thing is, what the guy that hit, the, the first guy that hit, he was doing 55 miles an hour, and he was driving an Uber, and uh, there was four passengers in it, Ooh. and uh, the passengers told the cops that he was looking at his Uber app. <laughs> so... Oh, jeez. Um, really? That, that's so they can sue Uber. Yeah. That's the problem with that thing. I've had cops <laughs> come up behind me and say, take your finger off of the app right now, you know, with the loud Really? Yeah. 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 And I well, was this... stopped at a light, too. I, I was stopped in traffic. So was the guy behind me and the three other guys. But this guy came in at 55 miles an hour and just rammed everybody. Sheesh. And... Yeah. Uh, uh, I looked in the rearview mirror when I heard the bang, and yeah. I saw cars just all over the place, uh, up in the air. It was, it was amazing what uh, what was going on behind me. And then the last car just tapped my bumper and busted off the thing on the side. Wow. See, if it was an American, I would have survived it. Oh, I had no metal <laughs> damage. It was just plastic crap. Yeah, and, uh, all that Japanese plastic shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> non-union yeah. made yeah and yeah or yeah well anyway so uh so you've got the, now you you've got a cam like everybody else yeah but i never i never like all the other russians like yeah. all the other russians yeah, <laughs> yeah. well the yeah, reason okay. the reason they have them in russia is because people get sued a lot over there and people will like yeah. actually ram into you just so that they can sue you and so yeah. they have these cams so they can prove that the other guy did it on purpose you know things like that, and they catch the best accidents. These Russians really know how to have an accident. Yeah. When they run out slowly in front of the car and dive on top like, of it and roll over the hood. Uh, no, they they actually turn in front of you, and uh, I mean some major accidents. Oh yeah, uh, propane trucks blowing up and shit. They're great. Yeah. Talk about some of the motorcycles. Scam. Yeah, yeah and motorcycles. Fight too. They have some incredible fights. Like whole families will just like. Have oh, road rage! The when they get out of the yeah. car. Yeah, the Russians. Are the mm -hmm. Best road. Yeah. 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 They're, they're they're good at it. So, it's, it they can it, all fight too. They're like. Yes, they're very good at ro they're very good at road rage. Yeah. 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 You know, I saw a thing on Canadian road rage. Guy got out of the car I'm and sorry. said, "Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, you you cut I'm me sorry. off." Sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. What it was. Yeah. Uh, I had a moose in my house this morning. Yeah. Got me upset. I'm so sorry. How many people here, you know, I said that I wasn't watching the news lately. How many people here are just not uh, avoiding the news lately? Me. I've stopped watching it. Just the same shit constantly. And, uh, yeah. How, how about you, Charlie? Yeah, I, I never watch the news. Maybe we should all go back to something called reading. Have you heard about this? No more yeah. newspapers. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn I used to read the newspaper. Oh, I actually like the newspaper. Uh, to, I, you know, every morning I get the newspaper. I'd sit down, have my coffee, read the read the paper, See look Garfield. at the news. I was happy. See Garfield eat the lasagna. By the way, uh, uh, Je <laughs> Jeff Stein, your camera isn't on. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Yeah. You remember those things called books? Yeah. 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 I just loaded about two thousand of them. <laughs> you know, the, the last time I read the Chronicle, there was a series called Tales of the City by Armistead oh, Maupin. Maupin, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that, that was, I, I really enjoyed that. That was 30 yeah. years ago, Phil. Well, that's probably the last <laughs> time I read a paper. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, every time I tune in to MSNBC, it's the same fucking shit. And yeah, when I no, then I decide, well, I'll go see Fox for a while, just for the hell of it. It's the same fucking shit, only it's like uh, in Bizarro Land. You know, Did it's you like your local news. I mean, everybody's so fucking predictable. When's somebody just going to do the news and leave it at that? You know, Did you watch your local news. 
You know, I don't. A girlfriend well, loves watching the, the morning. Uh, girlfriend that's, loves watching the local good. news. I don't like watching the local news for a very simple reason. Uh, it's just it's more about cats up trees, and you know the fireman yeah. turned out today to go get the cat up a tree. I mean, it's it, it, and it's a murder in Queens. So what's so new about that, right, Tony? Yeah. That's true. You, ever, you, like you, 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 you committed at least three of them yesterday, right? <laughs> I like RT. Huh? RT news. I listen to the news on the radio, actually, in the morning, like 10 Well, that's, that's the Russian news. Ru Russia Today. Yeah, that's yeah. Russia Today. You know, yeah. that's what RT stands for. Yeah, I know. You know. And it is being run by the Russian. It's run by the KGB. Well, they do a good job. <laughs> and there's very few commercials. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with you about that the TV is just terrible with the, it, the news. It's ridiculous. It's, it's gotten ridiculous. It's garbage. And, and it, 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 it's repetitious, and it, it's predictable. And I find that, you know. Well, even though it's got, this one has a left-wing bent, uh, slightly, mm -hmm. they, you know, they smile when there's a negative Trump story. Yeah. I watch CNBC, as uh, 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 CBSN. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, it, it's okay. I know that they're, you know, they don't like Trump, but uh, Did you, you give know, they, up on the nation. Huh? What was that one right wing? Uh, oh, OAN. Uh, uh, one America Network. Yeah, one, one American America News. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it. Uh, I, well, I watch one, one American like News is left is right wing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's incredibly right wing. Yeah, it's incredibly right wing. It's well, it's. Well, well, now, uh, 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 where was it? It was on one of those right wing radio stations or TV stations. But I saw the uh, item that there is a recall effort in California of Gavin Newsom. Yeah, I what? saw somebody with a sticker in their window, recall. Yeah. Why? I mean, he's, he hasn't been governor that long, for crying well, out loud. Well, it's the he's Republicans. Making, it's the Trump people that want to pull him back. He's making, uh, he's he's suggesting or putting through laws that are anti-gun and... Yeah, but, uh, but I mean, but he, he's, he hasn't been... He has been the housing, he wants to push that big housing bill, too. He wants uh, to make what's the housing bill? But, but, well, they're, they're, he's forcing uh, places like us to build more houses. Like our small town, They want he wants more housing built here so that we can uh he's forcing growth is what he's doing well he he's forcing it on the fault line that runs through your town sure you know hollister has a fault line you you know that that's got a like a major how long is this going to keep going on though that every time somebody gets put into office and i'll, I'll include the trump situation in this that there's immediately a desire to impeach them or to recall them and and yeah. i mean I, there should be some limit on that. I mean, I, I that's why I'm kind of against the the impeachment of um, of Trump, Trump. Is is that it, it, it's kind of buyer's remorse in a way. I mean, if every time somebody becomes president of the United States, the first thing we do, and the Republicans started doing this when they did it with Clinton, the first yeah. thing they try to do is to try and impeach them the day they get into office, and they spend the next four years defending themselves. Uh, I, I just don't think there's anything right with that. And I don't think time. it was right it when they did it. If I didn't think it was right when they did it to Clinton, I don't think it's right necessarily that they're trying to do it with Trump. It, it bit the Republicans in the ass when they tried to do it to Clinton, and it's going to bite the Republicans in the ass now in the, in the Congress because they're not getting anything done. They're total, uh, they wake up in the morning and figure out how can we oh, uh, spin bullshit. a story to impeach Clinton. There's over 100 Clinton. bills the House has passed that McConnell will not let come to the floor in the Senate. The House is doing well, their job. Well, the they're supposed to Ruben. get together, you know, they're, uh, just because they pass a, a bill that says let's impeach well, Trump. Well, to begin uh, with, to begin with, to begin with, the Senate or the uh, Congress is not supposed to be an advocate for the president. Okay, and that's no. exactly what the Senate is doing right now. Because uh, yeah. what's his name is doing that, McConnell. Uh, I mean, he's like he's like uh, it's like he's sucking Trump's dick, you know. And, and that's not the, isn't bitch boy Mitch. The idea behind the way we've set up this government is that all these these various branches are a checks and balances against the other. And they're supposed to work together. And then to they're supposed to work done. together to get stuff done. Well, I mean, what it's become is the Senate has become a, uh, 
and uh, um, um, what do you call it? A place where bills go to die? Well, no, it's a place. You're thinking it, they're it, obstructionists. It, it, they're obstructionists. Yeah, when it comes to anything, if, if anybody tries to go after Trump in the Senate, it is just simply it's not either they don't go ahead with it or they don't do anything about it or whatever. So that why are the why do the Democrats want to impeach uh uh, in the in the Congress because they impeach in the Congress, but they're never going to get them found guilty in the Senate. So you're wasting the, your fucking time. Get something done. The Democrats have done nothing but try to uh, spin a story. First it was Russia, then it was collusion, then it was obstruction, then it then it was you know. Uh, well, I still I still happen that. to think that he's guilty of the Russia thing and he's guilty of the collusion and all of that. You the know, fact- Nadler said that uh, that uh, Trump is going to be proven through the Mueller report that he uh, colluded with the Russians, mm-hmm. and uh, you know he was sure of it. And you know, as soon as the it story was. came Did out that he it? didn't do it, now you know, the, oh, yes, and then some modernist. Oh, yeah. Stop! No, stop there are saying there are five incidents of Trump his at all. And uh, uh, what do you just uh, uh, what do you call it? Not uh, collusion. What's the actual uh, cr- obstruction? Obstruction. Yeah, obstruction. There's five. There's five instances where he said he absolutely did attempt to obstruct justice, but you can't indict as a president. I mean, did you read it? Uh, the Mueller report? No, I yeah. didn't read it. I heard well, it. Well, I did. Uh, it's, no, it's in there. I mean, heard yeah, so it did. It's in there. I mean, oh, by I the way, let me bring up something. something. Uh, Kevin, you know, on, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Kevin, are you there? Yep. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, turn your yeah. camera off and on again. There's an empty <laughs> chair sitting there. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, now, there we go. I don't know what that's all about. What the hell? You know, I think, you just, my camera I think you just froze again. But at least we got... We froze. Oh, no, there. He's coming back now. No. Uh, but that's the thing, uh, Phil. If you hear something enough times, it becomes the truth. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's that's what Nadler's trying to do. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to even say anything more. Just read the report. Well, all I'm saying, I, well, all, I'm saying all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is that it's while right I think that there's every reason why uh, they should be, uh, you know, go, go, you know, why, why I, I believe that he committed all kinds of horrible stuff. Uh, I uh, don't feel that he should have to spend all of his presidency defending himself against uh, those kinds of charges. If you've got something really egregious, something that is dangerous to the country, something where he has done something which is hurtful to the country, <coughs> Go get him. You mean like yeah, flying yeah, like a vice high... president 200 miles out of his way so he could stay at his well, resort? Yeah, but that, you know, that is, that's not... High you know, crime and misdemeanor. That, that's, not, that, that's, not a, that's not an impeachable offense. That's just well, forcing not, somebody to... That's just forcing support. somebody to stay at a substandard hotel. It, you know. it is if you're a Barack Obama. He had a coupon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, but I mean, all I'm saying is, is that I I didn't like it when they did it to Clinton, so I can't sit here and like it when they think about doing it to Trump, unless they've really got something, and we got to get him out of there because the country's in great danger if he's still president. Okay, and I How I about don't having to pull our assets out of uh, other countries because because Trump. My qu- uh, yeah, but let me ask you this, Charlie. If tomorrow we start the proceedings against him for impeachment, which we haven't yet. Do you think it's going to be the election is going to be it's going to be before the election before they ever get some kind of impeachment? It might help solidify the no, election. I don't it, might it, might it might not. It might not. It didn't help. Didn't didn't help the Repu- didn't help the Republicans with with yes, Clinton. Yes, it did. With Clinton. Forget the Republicans won the next election after the, the Clinton impeachment. No, they didn't. There's yes, Barack they did. Obama. Who was president? No. Oh, no. George no. Bush. President. Oh. Well, yeah, because they were so tired of the uh, of Clinton oh, well, and the meltdown, the bubble meltdown in 2000. Oh, isn't that when they actually won the Senate? Yes, and that's the, when they won the Senate. I mean, it was this bullshit that it hurt the Republicans. It, um, uh, it, it hurt, hurt the Republicans. Now, anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time. Same uh, we've run out of time. Yeah. Uh, and look, uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're still there, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he's moving around. <laughs> he's moving. Hey, your Jeff, audience is out here, out there. We can hear him breathing. Je- Jeff, have a nice vacation, okay? And if you can, call us from uh, from uh, wherever you Prague. are. It'd be nice. Vienna, Prague, Prague, and all Prague. of that. My neighbor just went to Prague today. 
Did they have some fried frog legs? We'll see them over there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you very much, Charlie. We'll see you probably next week as soon as you get I'll settled. Be in, in Texas. In Austin. Here, see you in Austin next. Uh, uh, Phil, thank you. Thank you, yeah. uh, 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 Tony. Uh, thank you, Kevin. And thank you, Ray. Uh, nice to see you again. How did, ch how did Charlie get a visa to get back into Texas? I didn't think they let <laughs> okay. uh, uh, Democrats Happy back in Texas. Texas. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody, I think it's a good time for you to wave goodbye, okay? And I'll wave back at you, okay? Uh, oh, I'm well, that that was that was quick. You know what it was because I had I didn't have the fade set. Anyway, uh, that's it for our uh, our panel tonight. Oh boy, I just hope I get rid of these allergies. It would be very very nice. Next program is uh, Jack Bishop. He's here with the intersection over most of this same gab net. Uh, we'll be back again, uh, let's see here, right after Damian Chaplin on Tuesday when he does the intersection. Uh, no, he does the exchange. The intersection is the next show. Uh, I, I'll be on at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>